is the most seven qualities of a good and a decent wife that every woman must possess in a family in order for the peace to reign. Thank you very much and God bless you. I am Prophet King's Great Works, the prophet that is working to restore the decency of our people in the continent of Africa and the whole world at large. Listen very carefully. Number one, number one is talking back to the husband. Please, any woman, every good and a decent woman in a family do not supposed to talk when the husband is talking. It brings fire. It is like using fire to quench fire. Do you know that? What will the woman do when the husband anger have arise and talking all manner of things? What will the woman do? The woman will keep quiet. Just keep quiet. A good wife does not eat alone. That is number two. A good wife does not eat alone. Whenever a good wife cooked food and his husband refused to eat because he is angry, what a good wife is supposed to do is to go to the husband and to beg him, make every sacrifice. Any good woman and a decent wife in a family knows the weakest point of her husband. As a result of that, use that weakest point to get him and get rid of that anger in her body. God bless you. That's what you're supposed to do as a good wife so that all of you can enjoy the food together on the table and eat with love. Number three, a good wife does not keep malice. A good wife does not keep malice. No matter whatever your husband has done to you as a good and a decent wife in a family, you do not supposed to keep malice for your husband because the Bible says that your husband is your Lord. Your husband is your Lord. Why to your husband? You are his angel. So, for you to keep the malice for your husband is not good. The man that you are sleeping on, the same bed, having intercourse, having, that is, you have become one, because Bible said that one plus one is one. Keeping malice for him will not take you anywhere. Number four, listen very, very carefully. Number four, a good wife does not allow her husband to go to the bed angrily. That thing. It destroys in the career of men. I'm telling the truth. Whenever a man goes to the bed angrily, when he wake up tomorrow, he must be weak. On the place of his work, he must be weak. On the, in his office, he must be weak. Wherever he is working, he must be weak. And I want to continue telling women that the greatest gift that you can give to your husband is a peace of mind. How can you gain that peace of mind and give it to your husband? Never you allow your husband as a good wife you have to go to the bed angrily. Make sure your husband is happy before he goes to the bed. Number five. Listen very carefully. Number five is a good wife does not pack out from the house just because of a little quarrel between her and her husband. Do you know the reason why? A good wife does not do that. Unless I did not say some men used to treating the life of their wife are not in support of that. Unless any issue in a family is threatening your life, then you are permitted to pack out. But if it is just a minor issue, because you have a little quarrel with your husband, because some women are fond of that. Once they have any problem with their husband, they will just be packing their bag here and there, moving around, I want to go back to my father's house, this and that, you are not a man, you are not qualified, it, does, it is not good. Do not allow the third party to put mouth in your family. And the every good and a decent wife in the family always try to solve whatever that arises and her husband. That is one of a quality of a decency and a good wife in every family. So number six. Number six. Number six is that a good wife takes all the blame. A good wife takes all the blame. In every family. In every family. A good and a decent wife takes all the blame because you know sometimes as a man, a man will be having, whenever a man is having difficulty, faces some difficulties in life, maybe he, he, he loses his work in the place of his work, things are not going normal the way it's supposed to be going. So it brings unnecessary anger to the heart of some men. And as a good and a decent wife you are, you're supposed to know that time that your husband is going some difficult moments, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord, that time. Do not tell him that you are right and you are not right. Take all the blame. And I am assuring you, because you are a good wife and a decency woman in that family, God is going to reward you 
all your good work, all your sacrifices of taking the blame will never be in vain. A good woman does that to her husband. It is one of the most quality. Number seven. Number seven is prayer. Number seven is prayer. Every good and a decency wife in every family supposed to what? Supposed to be a woman of prayer. Because a family that prays together is a family that stays together. I have seen many cases of different men that marry their wife when they are smoking, that marry their wife when they are drinking, like marry their wife as a drunkard, understand? But as a result of the good and the decent wife they got married to, the wife today have changed them and stopped them automatically from such behavior. I have seen many women in a family that when their husband married her, they have nothing doing, but today the husband is a millionaire. As a result of the prayerful background that the good woman have laid in that family. Prayer is very, very important. Instead, a woman will not be a woman of prayer. Let a man not be a man of prayer in a family. Ask me the reason why. It is easy, easy for a woman to tear a family apart than a man. Do you know the reason why? If a woman decided that the family will tear down in one week, it will do. But if a, a man decided that the family will tear down in one week, it will take extra one year. Because the woman will be doing, enduring all manner of things, enduring all manner of things, I get my point now, from the hands of the man. For example, now, if a man is cheating, some good and decent wife may know that the husband is cheating, but they will not pack out of the house. They will just stay. They will be praying, 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 praying for the husband to change. In most cases, husband changes. Why still in the most cases, husband does not change? I get my point now. But in the case of man, when a woman cheats, just between 24 hours that he finds out, he has divided and divorced the woman. He has sent the woman out of the house immediately. Yes, that is because of what? Men doesn't have that kind of heart of enduring like women. So, and when a woman is a woman of prayer in a family, he ch she changes things to her own good. God answers and listens to the woman of every, to the prayer of every good woman in every family. Go and verify. You will understand what I'm talking about. Women, pray your husband out. If your husband is a drunkard, please pray him, pray him out. If your husband is a smoker, please pray him out. If your husband is a woman beater, Please pray him out because what God cannot do does not exist.